Hiya! Thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm sitting here in my hotel room, nails still to be done, but I'm getting ready for my first ever Leeds First Friday. I figured what I would do today is just running through where I am, give you a bit of you know, information about um, the hotel I'm staying in, and just give you my thoughts. So if anyone's thinking of going to the first Leeds First Friday, I could at least give you some information about this place and the kind of place that it is. So this is the Cosmopolitan, this is where everyone meets up for their drinks and around about 7, 7.30 that kind of time down in the bar downstairs. Now I would say that the Cosmopolitan is what I consider to be one of those sort of old-fashioned style of hotels. Um, I booked a twin, they've put me up in a triple which is nice but you know it's just one extra bed that I've got to use for. Um, I would say that the service is very friendly, certainly so far when I was checking in, very friendly, check-in was three o'clock but I was a bit early and they didn't give me any hassle about um, being a little bit early which is nice, sometimes I'm in places like Premier Inn where they're a bit of a stickler for only opening up the reception at a certain time so it's nice to be able to get in a bit early uh, without pushing it, it's about, about 2.30. And the room cost me, I think, £75 for the night, so that's a pretty decent rate for this kind of hotel. Um, as you can see, decoration's fine, it's clean, it's a little bit dated, it's quite dated actually. Um, bathroom, I've taken a few photos, bathroom is, um, it's fine, it's got those usual couple of cracked tiles, that kind of stuff, but it's, it's clean, it's presentable. What I will say is shower is fantastic, really really good hot powerful shower which is great, um, nice to have that as a facility, I don't mind other things if you've got that. Um, and overall there's not really much to complain about, you've got your basic tea, coffee making facilities, that kind of stuff. Lighting's okay, it's not the worst for doing your makeup in but there's at least three decent mirrors, one in the bathroom, one on the outside of the cupboard which is a good full length mirror. Uh, it's right in front of me here, so this bed's making it a bit difficult to get full length shots. And there's one on the vanity table, uh, where you've got tea and other bits and pieces. And that's really useful. So between the three mirrors, there's enough combinations of different types of light to be able to move around a bit, get your makeup done. And plenty of room on the table to be able to get everything done without leaving too much of a mess. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, one thing I will say is that I'm on the first floor overlooking the street outside. It's definitely not a soundproof environment, so there's a lot of road traffic. It's you know at night you're going to hear a lot of stuff going on. So if you're someone that's used to perhaps staying in places like Premier Inns where you get good night guarantees and you know do a lot of soundproofing on their rooms, I even noticed some noise coming from upstairs, which is fairly unusual in hotels. Usually they're very well sort of soundproof between the rooms themselves. So for that it's perhaps showing some signs of its age as a building. But overall, no problems, and I'm, I'm quite happy, especially given how much I paid. If I paid over 100, 150 for this type of room, I think I'd be pretty disappointed, but overall this is great. So, good base, this is where I'm going to start from in the evening. I'm going to go downstairs, take a few photos of the bar area as we meet up with friends, etc. I'll take a few other photos, see if I can get a few videos from out and about, but the main thing, at least I'm here, is to enjoy my first Leeds First Friday, and therefore anything I can do to report back, and if someone's never been here before, I hope this is something that would be interesting and would give you some way of getting involved and perhaps thinking about coming up here. What I will say about the area, around where, when I was driving up here to find a parking space, etc., there are loads of hotels around here. I went past Premier Inns, Novotels, there's everything around here. So this, you know, it's a park plaza, there's no shortage of hotels in this area. So don't feel like you have to stay here. For me, I simply knew that it would be easy and convenient and like this nip downstairs and you know, very nice place to, to meet up with them. Okay, gotta get my nails on now. Catch you later. Thanks for joining me. And let's see how we go for the rest of the evening. Okay. Bye. Bye. New wig. Loving it. So here's the room as you can see, it's fine, it's a triple room, you can see the sort of decor that uh, I was talking about earlier. This area is great, plenty of room for sitting down, getting all your makeup out, I'll show you all my makeup in a second. Full length mirrors you can see, I've got to move the bed out of the way to get decent shots but yeah that works fine and I'm quite happy with that. And the bathroom itself, clean, presentable, not massive but again nothing particularly wrong with it either. 
When I'm getting ready for night out, I do like to get all my makeup out in front of me. So I, I get everything organized first, get it all out on the desk, on the table, whatever I'm using. So it's all in front of me and I can see what I'm going to be using next. And as I go through things, I, uh, I use items, put them away, and then I'm sort of cleaning up as I go along. It's much easier to stay organized. I do like to grab a toilet roll from the bathroom and I use that as a hold of my brushes. Useful tip. So here's just a few of my pre-going out selfies. Just taking a few pictures in front of the mirror, making sure everything looks good before heading out and hitting the town. We went first to Ambiance, which is the restaurant. A couple of photos from inside there. And the whole night was sort of punctuated by meeting wonderful people like Faye and Rachel, you can see in this photo, who I had never met before, but some of whom I know from online and have following their photos on Flickr and Instagram, etc. And wonderful to meet up with these people. Hiya, just back now to the hotel room. My voice is going a bit, so apologies for that. And just to quick recap the evening. So, met at the Cosmo Bar downstairs and had a uh, nice uh, nice drink, met up with a couple of people who were going off to, to dinner with. So, met up with Heloise and some of her friends. Um, headed off to, uh, to dinner, went to a tapas restaurant, which uh, I believe is called Ambience. Food there was lovely, really tasty, delicious food. Uh, had a fantastic time there, and uh, tried a few different things, uh, a little bit of treats, so potato bravas, that kind of stuff. It was um, yeah, really, really delicious, lovely food. But I didn't eat too much, so that was uh, nice. You keep a light stomach for most of the evening. From there, we went to Bar Fiber. So left the restaurant, went to to Bar Fiber. Uh, stayed mostly on the first floor of Bar Fiber, which was. Lovely place, really liked it. Great ambience, um, lots of girls there for the night. Had a really good chat, um, met up with a few people who I'd never spoken to before, but I knew really well from online, even if I did struggle to remember uh, names and to put faces, names and stuff like that. Um, but Jem was there, I saw Steve there. I also saw um, uh, Rachel. So Rachel is someone who I'd never had a chance to meet before. She doesn't come that much south, and I don't go that much north. Uh, but I know her very well from online. She's gorgeous. Love her makeup. She's incredibly, incredibly talented. And yeah, had a really, really great night um, chatting with her, and kind of, you know, spent most of the night sort of talking with uh, with her, which was, uh, which was fantastic. Um, uh, after uh, Fiber, we headed to next door, which I think is Queen's Court. Um, and that was quite empty when we went there for the first time, but really sort of livened up after a while. Uh, music's loud, really loud in there, uh, so difficult to talk, but it was good. You know, again, a little bit of a move around and stuff. So um, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was uh, that was really nice. Um, so I like the place. Um, lots of people trying to serve up Jägermeisters, girls going around popping Jägermeisters all night. But yeah, I liked it. Um, and then we headed across the road to, I think, Viaduct, which I think is Viaduct, is a, uh, yeah, one of the gayest bars I've ever been in my life. Um, but fabulous. A lot of um, uh, people dressed up in drag in there. Some kind of superhero thing going on at the moment, which was interesting. Um, but I really liked Viaduct. It was uh, it was like a couple of places I've been to in Brighton, but 
much, much bigger and much more so. Um, and yeah, fun, really, really good fun night. Um, and while we're in there, I saw Sonia, um, saw Stee again, uh, Natalie and Sean. So I had a little bit of a chance to talk to, to Sean as well, uh, which was great. So to see some people who I don't normally get to see quite so much, it was really, really nice to, uh, to meet up with some of them. So all in all, fantastic evening. Loved it. And after the viaduct, we headed back to Cosmo, just um, you know, finished up my evening, and um, yeah, came back here. Just popped to the bar, said goodnight to a few people, and then head back to the room and time for bed. So all in all, I can say at least it's one of the best places I've ever been to. I loved it. Incredible atmosphere. Um, I know it's the 10th anniversary of Leeds First Friday, so possibly more girls out than would normally be here. But it was marvellous, really, really marvellous. And not a night I'll forget very soon. One person I did bump into towards the end of the evening, didn't get to talk much, but bumped into Jennifer, who I've not seen for ages. Jennifer sometimes comes down to Pink Panthers. Um, but since this is my first time dressed north of Milton Keynes, um, you know, I, I don't see her up in her kind of area. Um, and it was nice talking to people who are from Manchester, Liverpool, Leeds, Sheffield, etc. Uh, people who are from a different area to the, the people I normally socialise with, but still enough people here that I know to feel really welcome. and. Yeah, to, to, to never feel like I was on my own for the entire evening, which given that I sort of came on my own was was great. I, I thoroughly recommend this to um, to anyone as a, as a first night out. Cosmos is as good a place as any to stay, but um, yeah, I think if I was coming again, I'd be tempted to venture a bit further afield. Um, yeah, try somewhere a little bit different to stay. I just head down here for, for the bar earlier. Um, but for the first time, I have to come down to the Cosmo. Okay, so had a great night. Thoroughly recommend Leeds. Does anyone have any questions? If you want to know more about Leeds, if you want to know more about my my time here, etc., then please do um, do leave me any questions down below in the comments. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, if there's anything you want to ask me, get in contact with me through my email, which is julietisnoir at gmail.com. As usual, links will be down below, uh, or through my website, www.julietnoir.uk. Um, yeah, glad to have had a chance to share this with you. Fantastic experience, absolutely do it again. Um, and yeah, I hope I can find a reason to get back here sooner rather than later. Okay. So thanks for joining me here today, and as ever, bye! Bye!